Okay, let's start talking about PowerShell drives and providers. Now, what a PowerShell provider is, is it is a way of providing access to data on your system. So I'm going to issue the command get dash ps provider. Provided I can spell it correctly. All right, so here are all of our existing ps providers on my current system. So we have a registry provider which provides access to HKLM and HKCU drives. Now this is HK local machine, HK current user. We'll show you how to access those in a minute. We have the alias provider, which gives us access to a drive named alias. The environment provider, which is where we store environment variables. And they're accessible through a drive called ENV. We have the file system, which is what we typically think of with drives. And we've got a C drive and an E drive. And then we have functions and variables to other pro, uh, providers that give us access to a drive named function and variable. So what the PS provider does is it translates between the data structure. Let's talk about the registry because that's one that we should have some familiarity with. They provide access to the data structure, in this case the registry, just like it was a file system. And that's why we have these drives here. So this shows me the providers, this shows me the capabilities of those providers, and then this shows me the drives. Now I can also look at get-ps-drive, and this is going to show me my drive. So I have a drive named alias, a drive named C, a drive named cert, a drive named E, and here you'll see the provider that provides access to them and the root of them, and then if I'm on it, the current location. So right now I'm on the C drive right here. And you'll see my current location is C colon Windows System 32, which you'll also see right down here. Okay, so the providers give me access to all of these different things like the registry, the alias, the environment variables, just like they were a drive. For example, we have this ENV. Now, the way we change location, whether we're navigating through a file system or through the a uh, or through one of these other PS drives is by using the command set dash location. So if I want to go look at my env my environment variables, I can do set dash location env colon and hit enter and now I'm on the environment variable quote unquote drive. And a get child item will show me the contents of all of those environment variables. And so you'll see here we've got I'm scrolling too fast here. Let me do it this way. Let me just pipe that through more. And so you'll see here all of our variable names and our values that are part of our environment variable. And we can access our environment variables. And we can access these like a regular variable. Or we can access them this way. Now, honestly, we're not going to access them this way unless we're just kind of exploring. If we're actually going to use them on a regular basis, we're going to access it as a variable name which we really haven't talked about variable names yet, but all variables start out with a dollar sign. So it would be dollar sign env colon. Eh, stop that. Let me hit the right key here. Dollar sign env colon. There we go. Not up arrow. Uh, computer name. And it will show me the contents of that variable computer name right here. And so I can use that anytime I'm writing a script or executing whatever I want to execute. I can access these environment variables. Now the environment variables have always been there. The PS provider just gives me a way to access them like it was a file system. And so you can use a PS provider to access any hierarchical data structure just like it was a file system, which is also a hierarchical data structure. Okay, uh, let me look at, or let me show you a couple of others real quick. If you do the get PS drive, you can see that we have access to, using the registry, HK current user and HK local machine on HKCU colon and HKLM colon. So I can do set location HKLM colon, and that will take me to my registry. Now if I do a get child item, you'll see some things I don't have access to because, you know, it's blocked for security reasons, but some things I do. And so I can access different parts of my HK local machine registry hive just like it was part of a file system. Set, location, 
software. And now I'm in HKLM software. Get child item will show me all of the information inside that location in my registry. And I'm accessing it just like I would a file system. So if I was in the file system, I'd do set location C colon backslash get child item. And it's going to show me all of my child items inside the root of C drive. And then if I wanted to go to set location users and get child item, we'll see all of the items in there. So I'm navigating using set location. And because of the PS providers, I can navigate through any hierarchical data structure like file system, registry, environment variables, standard variables. Uh, if you have SQL Server installed, that's a hierarchical data structure. There's a PS provider for that, so you can access. You get the idea. Any hierarchical data structure we can access uh, through, as long as we have a PS provider for it, we can create a PS drive, and most of them are automatically created for us. And then we just navigate through that using the set location. And that's all there is to it. Now, one other thing I want to show you. I've been doing get child item to show you the contents of your current location. Now, all of our commandlets for dealing with files, folders, are we don't uh, create a new file. We don't get file. We get child item. We don't look at file properties. We look at item properties. They all use that generic term item. So let's do a get command where the noun includes item. And this is going to show me, let me pipe that through more again. There we go. And this is going to show me everything that's related to items. And I specifically want these right here. Now, I don't care about these entry point item tables, so all of this is part of direct access I don't care about. But the Microsoft.PowerShell.Management, these are the generic ones. So I'm going to filter that down a little bit more. So I'm going to do dash module Microsoft.PowerShell.Management. And now pipe that through more, even though I think it'll fit on one page. It did. All right, so these are all the th commandlets we would use to work with items. And we use this generic item because these work in coordination with the PS drive and the PS drive and the PS provider. So we create you, the PS provider gives us access to a PS drive. PS is short for PowerShell. So PowerShell provider gives us access to a PowerShell drive. But because we could be dealing with files or folders or registry entries or data in an SQL server or environment variables in the ENV uh, folder or regular variables in the var variable folder, they're all done with this generic item. So this creates a couple of interesting things here. So I can I can move an item. So using move item here allows me to move an item in any one of these PS drives. So I could move, be moving a file from one location to another. I could be moving a registry key from one location to another just by using that same generic move item. A new item. This is where it gets really interesting. If I go to create a new item, let me do new item Fred. Okay it created this as a file for me. Well, what if I didn't want a file? What if I wanted a directory? Well, let me remove item Fred because I don't want to leave Fred here. Okay, if I do a get help on the new item, you're going to see that. I forgot to pipe that through more. You're going to see that we have a item type right here. An item type is going to take a string uh, value. And so I can specify my item type that I want to create. Let's do get item, uh, get help, new item, dash examples to see what some of the examples are that we can work with. So this one right here New item, specify the name, specify item type file. Well, that's going to create a file. If I specify item type directory, it's going to create a directory. Um, if, well, this is creating a 
a file, item type file, in a profile folder. And so you can see we have multiple different examples here. And so we'll use this same generic new item. Let me actually change to a new location. Set location, C colon backslash scripts, which is where I store some of my, it's basically my PowerShell playing folder. There we go. All right. I don't even know what I have in here. Okay. Um, so I can do new item Fred because we were using that earlier. And now when I do GCI, it's short for get child item, we see a file named Fred. Or I can do a new item, item type directory, and let's do name Fred. Yeah. Oh, it already exists, Fred too. All right, now if I do a get child item, you'll see that we've used the exact same commandlet to create a directory and a file. So we'll use those generic item commandlets to manage registry entries, to manage files, to manage anything that we access through our PS drive and our PS provider. So spend a little time playing with the PS drive, PS provider. Uh, be a little careful if you're playing around in the registry. Most other things like the environment variables, regular variables, things like that, you can wipe it on. Make yourself a little folder here to play with to work with creating files and uh, directories and just get a little bit of practice with it. Now, most of us, uh, if we got into computers within the last 20 years or so, we're used to working with a GUI. And so navigating in a command line environment is a little bit different. So you're going to want to get some practice with uh, these commandlets. And remember, set location is the one that will let you go somewhere else. And then you can specify whatever you want. And you can specify a full path, C colon backslash Windows backslash System32. Or you can specify a relative path. So the full path means I specify the whole thing, start to finish. Or a relative path, set location, sysprep, to access a sysprep folder here, just goes from, it's a, called a relative path. It's from wherever you're at. Okay, so spend some time navigating around, creating files, creating directories, move through them. Remember, this right here is always going to show you where you're at. Um, there is a Linux commandlet called PWD, Print Working Directory, that will also show you the same thing. Now, you'll notice when I ran PWD, it worked just fine. That's because if we do get alias, pipe it through more, we're going to find, get down here to the P's, HHAK element O, PWD is get location which will always show you exactly where you're at. So anytime you don't know where you're at, and maybe you don't have the full path listed here, just do a PWD or get location, and it will always show you exactly where you're at in whichever PS drive that you're on, in whichever uh, folder you're in in that PS drive. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of how we can move around through these data structures that are exposed to us using PS providers and PS drives.